As time moves on, so do we. At this time in our lives, we found it best to retire the great RCA portable washer. Even though it was still working great for us, we decided we really needed a dryer as well as a washer. But living in a smaller home doesn't give us much space for both machines. We had heard of combination washer-dryer machines and decided to look into it. We ended up finding an excellent unit. This unit allows wash only, dry only, and wash and dry in one cycle. I have a few shirts that need to be washed. Loosely add your items because overloading this machine may negatively impact wash and dry performance. First thing to do would be to add your high efficiency detergent. GE Appliances recommends the use of HE detergent in your energy efficient unit. Then add fabric softener here if you choose to. I'm only using detergent today. Now press the power button. Then select the wash cycle you would like by spinning the dial. You can choose normal, delicates, casuals, whites, heavy duty, quick wash, stain wash with steam, sanitize. For only dry options, you can choose auto damp dry, auto dry, auto extra dry, timed dry. Then there are other options like soak, rinse and spin, spin only, and tub clean. I'm going to select normal for this load. I can stay with the default settings for this cycle shown on the display or change them under the controls. I can choose the soil level here. I'm going to stay with normal. What temperature I would like here, I'll choose warm. The type of spin here I choose max and the drying options here. If I wanted to only wash the load, I would turn off dry here. I want to dry so I'll keep it on normal. This machine isn't intense with its drying heat so it will be fine on normal. It takes much longer to do a load when low dry is selected. You can also choose to delay the wash here. The display shows how much time is remaining on the machine. This load will take about 3 hours and 7 minutes. Let's get it going. Here you can see how well it spins the clothes. This is a powerful machine. It spins like this because it is going to go into drying mode. This unit uses condenser drying technology. This enables you to install and use it without a vent. But loads do take approximately one and a half times longer to dry than a traditional vented dryer. This hasn't posed to be a problem for us because we do a load of laundry every day. 
it doesn't matter to us if the dry time is longer because whether it's longer or shorter, it's doing the job for us while we do our other work. So it makes no difference. While it is drying, it will occasionally keep draining because the water removed from the clothes during drying goes down the drain. Okay, my clothes are done. Now I can check them. If they are still damp, I can choose to add more dry time here. If there are a lot of people with mental illness to have that, or if I were only washing, I could do another rinse and spin, or just another they spin. Dry. There can be times when the unit may not be able to balance the load and spin up to full speed. If this is the case, you can do another spin. These seem to be perfect, so I'll hang them up. If you are drying the clothes in the machine, you will want to take the clothes out as soon as it is done. Because when they sit in the machine, they tend to get damp from sitting in the machine as it cools down, and the humidity from the heat falls on the clothes. This washing machine has been amazing for us. Once we realized we needed a dryer and needed to retire the RCA portable washer, and with there being so many options out there, we wanted to make sure we ended up with something good. Unfortunately, there weren't a lot of reviews on this machine, and a lot of them were bad. Mostly complaints on how long it takes to complete a wash-dry cycle. I see these complaints as unfounded because the machine does such a great job that it must take as long as it takes. We took the risk and bought it while it was on a great sale, and we have had no regrets. This unit has a pump filter that should be cleaned once every month to remove any items that may have been caught in the filter or housing. You press down, and the little door opens. Then you take out this thing here, and it has one of these, and you have to drain it. And the flatter the dish, the better. And then it won't, hold, it won't hold all. So I dump it. I'll put this back. And I will let more water out. Until it stops running. Probably three times. This is a super dish for this because it gets it right nice and flat. That's probably enough. So once they've drained this baby, we'll put this back in here. Then we take this out.
Oops, we didn't drain it enough. That's why we sometimes should have a towel handy. But that's okay. It's all soaked up now. isn't really any much on. This has been about a month since it was cleaned last and it really didn't need to be done now. Take this cloth let's clean it out inside here. Just to dry it on. There's nothing really in there to speak of, and then we take this, put that in there, and then this thing fits in there, behind here, that's Make a joyful noise. 